Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Chauvin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. We're still in the Sunken Valley and yeah, we got past the fortress, the initial fortress with all the gunmen. But it seems like this goes way deeper than uh, we first anticipated. There's a tunnel right here and there are a few spirit emblems down below. Now I have spirit emblems enough. I'm gonna just leave them there to just indicate that I haven't been there yet. And I hear a weird metallic... Oh. Oh. We're back in Sampo Temple. And this... Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, that was a sweep. Yeah, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm on the floor, probably. Come on. No. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah, okay. Gonna try that again. I almost had him there, but got a bit overwhelmed. Unseen 8, that's always great. So I don't think I can actually stealth attack this thing. Unless maybe if I jump. And there we go, jump over. There we go, lots of deflects in a row, I'm just going to heal up in between. There we go, posture damage. And there we go. Woo! Just a flurry of the flex. Yellow gunpowder. Thank you for that. And another prayer bead. Okay. Just, yeah, you need to deflect pretty much everything. This looks like Sampo Temple, but we're not at Sampo Temple, right? What's that through the window? Oh, there's a hole in the floor. There's a hole in the floor. Let's just... Ooh. A large fan made of dyed red Japanese aralia leaves can be fit to the shinobi prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. Fanning it creates a large vortex of wind, spitting away those it catches. The vine abduction through an eight-handed fan once is fine, but twice and you'll never return. If abducted, we'll head to Mount Congo. At Sampo Temple, we'll perform virtuous deeds. So yeah, again, the link between abductions and Sampo Temple, or Sampo Temple, I, I don't know how to pronounce it anymore. Can we open this up? No, it's locked. But what can we see through? Looks like a white tree or some kind. Or is that... Wait a second. Is that the entrance where we came in through? And that's the bridge. Interesting. That is the bridge. It looks like it. Uh, I'm just going to heal up again. And then drop through the hole. Okay. That was a weird noise. I hear the... I hate those weird noises sometimes. Because it sounds like there's something sticking into my brain for some reason. Kind of like the sounds the levels sometimes make in, in Bloodborne. And it's eerie quiet at the moment. So this looks like we're back to that bridge bit, right? What happens if I... What's this? Is this... Ooh, this is something else. Where the hell are we now? Oh, no, no, no. That is that bridge bit. Okay. So if I go over there, I actually get those three spirit emblems. And then I can't go back. But I can go up here. And that brings us back to the sculptor's idol. Let's commune with it. And rest a bit. 
Is that going to get me my gourds back? And uh, we killed that mini boss anyway, so might as well just go back down here. So back to the same side. I want to see what else is here, because... Seems like one big hole. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that and just go the other way then. That seems to be more tunnels. Oh, wait. Um, wait a second. Seems like this is collapsed, but... Then, what's the way forward? This is not right. Oh, come on. Now what? I can hear stuff on the other side, but... So I can see an item over there, but it doesn't seem to be a way forward. And it sounds like there's skeletons on the other side by the sounds of it, but... Okay, so... What's the big deal then? Then I'm supposing that this was just here for that prosthetic tool. Uh, so let's head back to the Sculptor's Idol. Ah, uh, might as well just sip. And move forward. Well, backwards, actually. So at the Buddha statue there also was another side. With another gunner. So let's just stab him in the back. And there's another item here. Which is just antidote powder. So that's definitely not it. Now, the more I look at it, the more it seems like that tree is actually something. Aha! Uh -huh. We can go up here. Grab this item, more sugar. Oh no, wait. Over here. Let's hang. Ah, we just get another way into the building. Oh, we can go even higher and get another item. More sugar. But that seems to basically be it, because that was, yeah, that was the final bit that I missed. We've been up there. Yeah, I don't see any other way around here. Which means that the area we see when we go inside is something else. Because, yeah, we're going through the opposite side of the mountain question is how do we reach that other side uh and by now we have enough skill points to also buy the ishimonji double so uh there we go let's buy that and then we get the ashina cross from a sheeted stance draw the blade at high speed call spirit emblems to use hold the stance to intercept at will a secret technique of the ashina style devoted to the master of a swift kill Draws a cruciform cut in the blink of an eye so fast it could sever the arm of Shura, or so boasts Ishin Ashina. Okay, and probably also what severed our arm. The Ashina Cross. Equip the Ishimonji double, just in case we use it. And I'm just gonna take one more final look at that tunnel. And there is another bridge at the other side of this building, but... No way to actually get out. So wait a second, we've heard those noises before. Yeah, it's those those slashy things again, but the the, the skittering noises, that those are those crickets, right? From in the abandoned dungeon. So that means that we're kind of stuck here now. Uh, we can't move forward, apparently. Which means that I'm gonna try... To go back there to the abandoned dungeon. Yeah, let's do that. But before we do that, I'm just going to quickly go to the sculptor. To have a little chat with him about the new prosthetic we found. Divine Abduction. Gathers and releases a gust of wind forcing enemies caught by the vortex to turn around. It is a mild sort of being spirited away that can be returned from quite quickly. However, it's said that one can only return from being spirited away once, and if taken again, there is no coming back. Okay. So, let's check out the upgrades then, because we found a lot of materials. Now, we can't buy the Phantom Kunai just yet. We need two more iron and one more bit of wax. But we could improve the Sabimaru, we could do the double divine abduction. Can be waved twice in, in succession. What does that mean exactly then? 
I'm gonna try to not use any normal iron because I need that. So since I need iron for everything, I'm just not gonna upgrade anything. There we go. Easy as that. That means we should go back to here, the bottomless pits. We found this like five or six episodes ago. And there was this old lady again telling us that it's down there. Will you cast yourself off or not? Well, it's high time we actually try this. So let's um, do this. We're not dying. We're not dying yet. Oh! Okay, that was quick enough reaction, apparently. Oh, it's all the way down there already. So we have a bit of a pit stop. But it kept going. Definitely kept going. There was a second ledge underneath me. But where does this go as a start? Seems to be... Oh, I know that bog. That usually means that there's a headless nearby. And that item is just there to lure me in. I'm just going to quickly check the other path here. No. Okay, so it does keep going. Yeah, there's multiple ledges down there. But what is this? I don't hear the telltale noise of a headless yet. Okay. So that's just one of those resurrectors. There he goes. And there he goes once. Just going to quickly grab the item now. Fistful of ash. Okay, great. Doesn't turn easily as well, apparently. There we go. It's probably also a very easy way to heal up. Since I now get health from dead blows and I do two dead blows on those guys. Left or right? Left or right? Left goes down. Left definitely goes down. What's on the other side? A hole in the floor. Oh, that, that definitely doesn't look inviting. Um, but let's go down. <laughs> Ow. Even took damage from that. Oh. Another Sculptor's Idol. Okay, they're really throwing those Sculptor's Idols around. Because we just came from one. So let's just commune with it. I leave it at that. I'm not going to rest just for that little bit of health. Another big statue. Ashina Depths. Well, that looks like a poison swamp if I've ever seen one. Let's just drop down slowly. Keeping in stealth. Is this sturdy enough? Seems like it. Don't mind if I grab the item in your hand. More scrap magnetite. Oh! Yeah. No, the left wolf. So that guy has a, a peculiar weapon. Oh! Yeah, that's one of those. That's one of those. Okay. I'm not gonna get in there that poison. Oh! Gonna get shot in the face again. Ow. Oh, poison, poison, poison.
Heal up. There we go. That's one. Now I can't really get hit too much now. Oh, and I got hit again apparently, but I can resurrect again. Oh yeah, I'm dead. Ow. So I think I should probably kill the other guys first then. Death. I might be able to pull off a stealth attack here, which is going to be... Nice, there we go. That was weird, she for some reason didn't see me. Hold out of it! We had a weird angle here. Oh, no, 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 yeah. And I died. Come on, resurrect, resurrect, resurrect. Your push is going down. Resurrect, you asshole. There we go. And there she goes. Okay. Again, just be very, very aggressive and we're fine. We're fine. And luckily I just spent my money on something else in between. Just bought a bunch of uh, coin purses. So nothing to show for it, but uh, at least that was fine. So there was another gunner over there, right? But I'm going to prioritize the shotgunner here. Oh, what? Wow. Well, that was bullshit. Yeah, just come over here if you want to. Scrap magnetites. That's not gonna help. Okay then. Since when can you fire that twice? And down he go okay. Down he goes. There we go. This guy is for some reason staring at the wall, so I'm just gonna... Oh, I was gonna say take advantage, but I kind of took advantage of it. Goodbye, dear friend. Now, the depths. What's in the depths? Seems like the poison is manageable for now. Doesn't seem to tick up very quickly. And I apparently left an item over there. I mean, over... There. Probably a drop from an enemy. Can we get it like that? Yeah, there we go. More antidote powder. So heavy coin purse. Seems jumping is good to mitigate the poison a bit, so definitely we'll be jumping a lot. More and more items, and what the hell? Another Sculptor's Idol. I'm not gonna rest at it. Just gonna find it and continue our investigation over here. Seems like there was... No? I thought there was another uh, item there, but no. Okay, so moving up again, which is probably not the way we want to go, because we're in the depths, we want to go down. But there's a way forward apparently over there. 
Or maybe not even, because they don't seem to be able to get up that high. And there's no grappling point, so... It means the only way forward is probably behind the snake guys we just killed. And over there, there's another item behind this broken off statue. More yellow gunpowder. But we need scrap iron, damn it. Grappling all around the place. Say hi to the snake guys we killed. Goodbye, woman. Goodbye. Let's just sneak down and go down here. That is not a good sign. There's like patches of blood here everywhere. Ah, uh, seems like. Somebody was dragged down here bleeding. Oh. 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 Wow, this is a boss fight arena if I've ever seen one. And the camera zooms out a bit. It's gonna come from over there, I'm assuming. Uh, music also stopped. Hello? I can grapple... Oh, no, 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 no. I can grapple up there, but that seems... That's going to be a trap, isn't it? Oh, God. Why is this so big? Is this the lair of that snake? Hello? Oh, God. We just passed a very big... And we're grappling onto skeletons. A very big open space. Now what? Oh! That warrior is here again. Okay. Hi. Can we talk? Oh, she's gone. But she was here just moments ago. Um, hello? You. Mm -hmm. Oh, Shinobi. Listen. I finally saw her. The shamisen player was a woman. I only saw her from afar, but I could tell. A beautiful, yet fleeting presence. Oh, I should have asked if she was calling to me. And before I knew it, she disappeared into the mist. Okay, somebody's going crazy. Now that I think it over... My father told me stories about a hidden town shrouded deeply in mist. An ominous town. Don't ever go there, he said. But that doesn't matter to me now. Now there's a thick, misty forest in my way. If only I could figure out how to get through it and find that shamisen player. Um, lure to the abandoned... Ooh. Oh, yeah. So remember we had a conversation with a doctor um, and he needed a fresh body. So I can lure him to the abandoned dungeon or don't mention the abandon, abandoned dungeon. Um, let's don't mention it for now. <sighs> it's coming from deep in the fog. That melody is calling me. Okay. So I'm going to keep him alive for now, although I feel like he's going to meet his end in that misty forest. The misty for- ooh. Is that the forest where Lady Butterfly learned her illusion techniques then? It seems like it, doesn't it? Yes, butterflies. Butterflies, what's this place called? Is it Sanyuay Forest or something like that? I can probably see if I rest here, hidden forests. But, if I travel, maybe I get an over... I oh, know, that's still Ashi, not that hidden forest, okay. But... Butterflies... They're not damaging me like Lady Butterflies butterflies. Look at this place. This is cool, I don't see... Oh, there's chickens. There's definitely chickens. Oh, chicken. There we go. The land of the chickens. We finally found the homeland of the chickens. That's going to be interesting. So there's one over there. 
it seems like it's not that hard to fight them then. Chicken is seeing me. You're gonna fly up to me? There we go. I can hear something mumbling. Not anymore. Ah, there we go. I hear like slight mumbling. We get more and more items, but what is that? Oh, there's ground floor beneath us. Okay, but let's head up again. Because there's a statue here. Oh. Hey, hey you. <laughs> is that a Sampo monk? If you know the path of Buddha, would you slay one who opposes it? One who opposes the Buddha? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> the one of whom I speak hides in an abandoned temple up ahead. He sealed away the village in a shadowy fog so that he can fool the villagers. An abandoned temple? Yes. It's an old building. <laughs> the door may be closed, but there should be a hole in the second floor. Okay. Anything else? Come. Will you slay he who opposes Buddha? <laughs> the abandoned temple, the door may be... Okay, okay. There's a hole in the second floor. Great. So there's mo oh. Well, there's again somebody tied up here and then killed. Looks like a monk this time, though. It looks like they got what they deserved, but... I can't get up here, okay? More pallets and more chickens. There we go. That blow on a chicken. Don't know the significance of that, but... There we go. Goodbye, chicken. And that's basically it, I think. Unless there's something over here, but I don't think so. No, so we probably need to go towards the bottom level now. Although I'm just quickly going to try and get up here. And move to this side a bit further. Because this goes further as well. So I'm wondering if this is the path forward then. There's multiple chickens. Might as well try and do a death blow on one of them. There we go. I love how the blood just comes spouting forth. Is that guy glowing? They're all glowing. Um, and this is the path forward, probably. Should probably check out the lower floor then first. Straight onto an item. Ooh, wait, that was something new. Yashariku sugar. I thought it was going to be the same type of sugar again, but wait. Um, Yashariku sugar. Sustaining Yashariku's blessing halves max vitality and posture while granting a large attack power boost. Bite the candy and take the Yashariku stance to impart its inhuman benediction. Forbidden at the temple, this candy was distributed far and wide in exchange for donations towards costly undying research. So in their undying research, they started to panic, they were losing funds. So they started selling illegal drugs, basically. Fuck nuggets. That's another one of those headless. And I'm still not capable of defeating those, I think. I could try, I'm gonna die anyway. Um, although... I think I might have fucked myself here. Can't seem to grapple back onto there. So I don't really have another choice now, do I? I can't even target him. So I'm just gonna go back up. Seems like I can from here. 
So don't mind if I do. So those are definitely ghost people. Question is, can I backstab a ghost man? Seems like I can, and I got items from him, so I'm supposing he's dead. And yeah, there he is. So that's another death blow. Getting our health back to max. And then I think over here there's another item. Adamantite scrap, that's something new as well. Adamantite can only be mined in the oldest parts of Ashina. Ancient rock and soil is said to attract the grace of golds, so perhaps lending this metal its supple strength. Okay, the grace of the golds. Golds? We've been hearing about golds. There's even ghost dogs. How many? There's all the ghost dogs. I'm freaking out a bit. And I got killed by a wolf. There we go. And I killed the wolf. Okay. Just heal up. Those actually do a lot of damage. They don't take much punishment, but they do a lot of damage. There's a ghost archer above me. Let's just grab all the items. Let's just grab all the items. Boys and coins. I heard another wolf. Oh god. Just gonna go, just gonna go, just gonna go over here. That's one. Deflected the arrow. And stabbed him in the, the ghost face. And we got another skill point. Fog actually stops me from seeing certain paths, because I could grapple to that, but apparently I can't if there's fog in the way. Stab him. And obviously because they're ghosts, we get spirit emblems. I've been seen by something. Whoa, God. Ghost wolves. There we go. Now this guy seems to be peeping in. Now there's definitely music here. Question is, how do I get in? Or is this the building that that dying monk was talking about? What the hell is that? That's an upside down corpse. And there's more death blows, but what the hell is this? That's one of those monks hung upside down with an incense burning on his neck. I still hear, oh, seems like the ghosts are a bit blind as well. I must have been dancing the, the cha-cha in front of this guy. But apparently, he, oh, he didn't mind. There we go. Shh. Sleep tight, little ghost man. So there's definitely a one over there looking in the other direction. Yes. And now we got more oil. Now. What is with this place? It's nice music. Is that the shamisen player we've been hearing about? So that's the way to go up. Can't really see inside. There's definitely a light inside. And there's somebody in there. But... I think I'm going to have to come from up there if I want to reach that. Can I? Is there a way up there? I'm still being shot at. Ow! Mother. That scared the bejesus out of me, by the way. Oh! This is another way forward. 
But that came from over there, definitely. That arrow came from behind me. There it is. There we go. Okay, then the... The combat music stopped, so I'm supposing... Oh, wait. Wait. There it is. Grapple back up here. So there's another path over there, but... If I hug the wall, I can actually use the tree branch... To get over to this side. I'm still pretty good on healing boards. If I use my dead blows to keep healing myself... We can actually get pretty far, I'm assuming. So stop hugging the wall. So this is back to that original area. Wait, what? So yeah, I can hear the headless below me. I can actually target them from here. Not gonna do that. I don't have enough healing gourds anyway. So... Dropping down again. I do want to see what is up there. So over here... Can we get... Oh... Fuck. That's another one of those drunken guys. But accompanied by a lot of monkeys. I can't do this now. There we go. Is that... Wait, what? Was that a gunman monkey? Uh, the monkeys have swords. Why do the monkeys have swords? The monkeys have swords. And they're wearing helmets. And then there's this drunken man. I don't want to fight the drunken man. Is he gonna... Gonna lose interest? He did actually lose interest. So that means that I can actually do a death blow on him. Tokujiro the glutton. Oh god. Jesus. Oh, wow! Come on, buddy. Ah! Jesus Christ. There we go, got him. Oh my god. <laughs> I was really playing it safe there, but I didn't want to die there. Unrefined Sake. Uh, favorite of Ishin Ashina. I think we got one of those already. And we gave that to the sculptor. So that's pretty much all my healing gone. Is there a save point nearby or do I have to go through all those ghosts again? Or is there just nothing here? Oh. Uh, there we go. Latch hang. Shimmy over here. And climb up, I suppose. Yeah. O okay, then. Okay. That was that, I suppose. There's another tree branch over here. One over here. And one over there. Does that get us to the other side of that area? The ledge that I actually wanted to reach by going over here. Ooh. Lump of fat wax. That's great. Oh, yes it is. Yes it is. So that means I can use the trees now. To get inside of the building. But if this is a boss, I'm totally, totally boned. Okay, so nothing on the first roof. Is this the building that they said there's a hole in the roof? 
on the second floor. Is it the English second floor or the American second floor? I'm guessing... What? 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 I don't want to get shot at right now. Get away, magic forest. Okay, so there's a hole over here. Get in the stealth. Oh, that doesn't... What the hell is that? Oh, it's a boss. It's a mini boss. I don't have the, the health to do this now. I'm going to have to go back, so give me a second. So, back at the lovely music. Hole on the roof. This doesn't seem like something I should attack, probably, but... There we go. First attack. And I killed it in one go. Mist Noble, Lump of Grave Wax. A lump of fatty wax that has formed inside the body and turned pitch black, used for occultic prosthetic tool upgrades of an advanced nature. A long-suffering illness will see the growth turn large and blacker still. It is customary to run water over the side of an extracted growth. Um, there's fog everywhere now. I killed that thing extremely easily. Okay... What the fuck is this even? This is a tentacle monster with six arms? I didn't even manage to get an attack off. That double Ishimonji is ridiculous. Um, let's grab this. More of that illegal sugar and I'll Wait, what the hell happened? Is this an Anolondo trick? We didn't just blow up the building, did we? Was the building already destroyed and was that just an illusion kept alive by that thing? Because the fog is now completely gone, which is great. And another thing that's noticeable is... I feel like the ghosts are gone? I think they are. Maybe we should have a little chat with that monk we saw before. Uh, unless we go and check here first. Because if we can get another sculptor's idol, that would be nice. But this seems to be... Yeah, this seems to keep going. It's a cool forest, though. Kind of reminds me of the Forbidden Forest from Bloodborne. Let's go back to that monk. Then there's this pit with statues and everything in it. Heavy coin purse. Seems like they tried to bury all the... The books. They destroyed... Oh, they ripped... If this is similar to the dilapidated temple... They kind of ripped everything off of it. And put it into this... Hole. Let's talk to him again. I've gotten terribly old. But this old man would like to see Lord Buddha return to his temple once more okay but i can't i can't really carry this thing to to the temple again can i um is the headless dude yeah the headless dude is still there but traversal has been made a bit easier um i probably shouldn't because i've died multiple times to these things now and the fog is starting to, to return again. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. What did he rip out of me? And I can't do any damage, by the way. I'm barely making a dent. Yeah, I can't. You can't dodge that. Okay, so I definitely, I'm not gonna fight those anymore because I can't dodge the backstab thing. Because you can't dodge in the fog. So with that horrible failure, we're gonna wait a second. Wait a second. Don't tell me the fog isn't back, right? 
Although no, I can still see the headless, so I'm assuming it is permanently gone. So let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. I wanna see what what this ends in. Get away from me, you dirty chicken. The shuriken is too slow for Are you serious? Oh my god, I almost got killed by a chicken. This is not my highlight, is it? So let's just jump down. Yeah, the ghosts are permanently gone. That is cool. You can affect the environment that way. Well, in this level at least. So if we move to the end here. Following the lights. So yeah, it was these posts. These posts and the pamphlets that were hung outside of the temple that were destroyed. Just gonna have to be careful now because I feel like... Just because I cleared out the enemies in the pit up there... Doesn't mean that the same thing isn't happening over here. Going down... Again... Maybe we finally get to the other bit of the uh, abandoned dungeon. Where we started this episode. Ah, look at that. The sweet blue glow of another sculptor's idol. And is that... That's the memorial mob, right? Just gonna commune quickly. There we go. And now... This is memorial mob, right? Care to purchase an offering? Another one. Where you find the departed, you'll find the memorial mob. Even those who can't die still have use for offerings. Yeah, probably. Go ahead. Buy an offering. He has a different voice, so it's definitely not the same guy. <laughs> he sounds a lot more evil as well. Let's exile the memorial mob. Mottled purple gourd reduces terror status buildup and increases terror resistance. This gourd's twisted form was formed with use in graveyards, corpse strewn battlefields, and other forlorn places of death. It follows then that drinking its waters can help prevent the onset of terror. Interesting. Then we have a lot of coin purses, adamantite scrap, dragon spring sake. A top shelf sake brewed by the Ashina Brewmaster with water from the Dragon Spring. The pure water extracts every last bit of flavor from Ashina's finest rice. There are no words that can do the flavor justice. To understand, one must taste it for themselves. And two treasure carp scales. Well, it's high time I start spending my money a bit, right? So at 4,000 sen, that should get us. First of all, the mottled purple gourd. Maybe that can help me kill those headless dudes. Then the Dragon Spring Sake and two Treasure Carp Scales. That leaves me with 473, uh, which doesn't allow me to buy anything, which is sad. But nevertheless, thank you. May the departed rest in peace. So this guy is exiled, which is interesting. And there are people over, probably more enemies over there. So I'm gonna. The last thing I'm going to do today is head back to the Hirata estate to the treasure carp salesman. Because he sold a few interesting things with those treasure carp scales as well. So, the treasure carp man. Let's see what we can buy. So, we can buy the mask fragments if we want to. Or the floating passage text. Uh, that's just an attack, so I want to just focus on key items. So the mask fragment, right. This fragment appears to be the right side of the mask. So let's buy that. And then we can go away here. And then the memorial mob at the entrance of the abandoned the dungeon. We'll check him out, because I wanted to see how much that other mask fragment is costing us. 5,000. Okay, we can't buy that just yet. Okay. May the departed. At least we checked. So with that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Sekiro Shadows Eye Twice. I hope to see you guys in the next episode of the same game. Goodbye.